Um, obviously, the last 12 months or so, we've seen a big shift in terms of the way that the audit has been delivered and the way that people have been working with their clients in a real movement to remote working, Mark. How, how has that impacted some of the the strategies that you've been deploying or the work that you've been doing with firms? So fortunately, um, over the last three or four years, I've been working uh, through some cloud-based solutions that so that when that decision was made to not come to the office, that the firm was in a good position to, to not have to really worry about that. But a lot of firms, this was a, a shock to them to all of a sudden go, you know, you can't go to your office anymore. And so I think a lot of firms struggled that first few months trying to get their, uh, you know, their legs under them as far as what they're going to do. I think, you know, firms are catching up, but the firms that were ready and already going through, uh, you know, doing things in a remote basis using cloud technologies were in a much better position. I, I really think that this last year has really accelerated the desire to implement new solutions and to really rethink the work product and the work uh, processes. And so that, I think that's a good thing. I think it's probably accelerated the profession by at least five years um, without I mean, people just were forced to make change. So now what does that look like going forward? You know, I think that's good. The techniques are going to continue and the influence is going to continue. And I think, you know, the traditional office is, may be there but they won't be anywhere near what they what they were before so i you know i you think well that was a bad thing that happened but actually for the profession it probably was the kickstart that we needed you know to get firms moving forward i think it's certainly um made that digitization of the firm happen so much quicker in terms of the way that the uh, the services are being performed i think it's it's unlocked or certainly suddenly broken some of those those conceptions that were there in terms of how services need to be delivered. I've I've certainly been in in my time in the profession in those meetings where people have insisted there's absolutely no way we couldn't do the work um, away that we could do the work away from the client site because you know the client has to see us there because otherwise mm -hmm. we're not working on their on their work and and those kind of things which I think are self uh, realizing in the sense of actually there is a nobility and, and, and technologies often allow that transparency to still be there so as clients can understand how the work's being done the status and the progress is very visible mm -hmm. things like that can really just transform how that relationship has moved and, and like you say Mark I'm not sure that we're going to be moving very quickly back to the, the old way that the work was uh, performed pre the pandemic yeah, I think that this really kind of accelerated the the movement forward. And I think it actually gave firms an opportunity to, to really think about what they really needed to do rather than they, what they traditionally did. And so maybe it cut out some of those unnecessary procedures because they just didn't really have the time or the resources to be able to do those. And they had to, or they were forced to focus in on you know, the real meaty issues that they had to think about for the audit, the real risky areas, uh, because that's that's what they, that's what, that's the time that they had to do that and they had to adapt to uh, getting that. Now the firms that had to scramble trying to get records from here to there, you know, you know that's, that accelerated those companies, uh, businesses as well to move to more of a digitization, so. Yeah, 